The brand new Kings and Generals video three days ago. Second anniversary of Putin's full-scale aggression against Ukraine. What was supposed to be a short, victorious war has turned into a protracted and bloody war, killing thousands of people and destroying dozens of Ukrainian towns. In February, Russia ca I like how back in the day they talked about 300,000 deaths and now it's 60k. ...captured Avdivka, scoring its most significant win since the capture of Bakhmut nine months prior. The lack of... I always wonder, as I am also a military uh, expert, right? Is that such a win? Taking a useless city while you wasted a shit ton of life for it? I don't know. 300,000 casualties, but not deaths. Oh, okay. American support has started to have a very tangible impact on Ukraine's ability to defend against the Russian army, which is once again enjoying a significant firepower advantage. Welcome to another like update on the war in Ukraine and the events of February 2024. The Russian army still carries strategic momentum on the battlefield. They are attacking on the Zaporizhia, North Luhansk, and Donbass fronts. They made significant gains in Donbass in February. Russia has been attacking Evdivka since October and has been making only incremental progress until <laughs> February. Plant. Oh, they're taking down Coca-Cola now? They finally made the That's breakthrough sad. they've been fighting for. At the beginning of the month, they captured the France northern dash of the town. How sad can On we reach? On February 13th, the Russians severed Industrial Avenue, a key supply line between Evdivka and its coke plant. It was reported that one of the it's main so weird Ukrainian... that Markic in chat is a genuine real-life soldier in this war. It's so weird, man. You're watching like a German who's like safe, his only issue is eating chocolate, and he's watching a video about what you really go through, man. That's Isn't that crazy, man, how the world works? In strongholds in the section, Zenith was practically surrounded. At this point, the situation was getting increasingly dire for the Ukrainian units in Avdivka. The Ukrainians were suffering from an extreme shortage of ammunition. We got some pictures from the boy. Look at him, man. You guys remember when I interviewed him? He still looked like a young boy. Now he looks like a genuine fucking... Look at that guy. I know a Ukrainian and soldier European and I know slowness. the most rich guy in Moscow. According to the I'm New York Times man. report, the Ukrainians had been forced to ration their artillery shells. And in Avdiivka, this allowed the Russians to take advantage. Average age of Ukraine army is 41. Shell hunger had I read this thing, yeah, that uh, Zelensky is very scared, which makes sense, of actually starting to draft the youth. Because if they draft the youth, that's very bad for the country. They lose a lot of workers, they lose a lot of future. It sucks and it just undermines, uh, overmines. Overmines? The argument of Macron, which I fully agree with, that we have to send fucking troops there, man. We have to get the fuck in there, man. It forced the Ukrainians to fire artillery only on large masses of attacking Russian soldiers. So instead, the Russians started attacking in very small infantry groups, and the Ukrainians simply could not afford to use their depleted shell oh, reserves. Clever, man. The Russians them. saw after two years the using time, their heads, man. The Russians carpet bombed the Ukrainians in Avdivka with their glide bombs. The Ukrainian command was forced to withdraw the 110th Mechanized Brigade from the Avdivka sector, which had been defending it since October 10th due to losses. Instead, the 3rd Assault Brigade was brought in. But at this point, I don't know the real law behind going to Ukraine. First of all, um, international law is a joke in a real war. No one cares about the UN. No one cares about Den Haag, human rights. Like, for example, Vladimir Putin is supposed to be in front of Den Haag, but they can't ever get him. It's all a big joke. And a lot of rules don't make any sense anyway. All the reinforcements could do was to protect the orderly withdrawal of, of as many Ukrainian soldiers as possible. 16K lost for a city of 30,000. Which is why it feels to me that Advika is not a big victory for Russia, man. It's a victory for the Russians. I mean, you guys know me. I'm the Hoi Force streamer Tommy K. I'm a massive military expert. And if I will lead the Ukrainian forces, I will just be in a depth defense, be okay with giving away ground, but inflict as many casualties as possible. That will be my doctrine as Ukraine. It's okay to lose a city, but make them pay for make them pay very, very, very hard. That should be the doctrines, man. It was a victory nonetheless. Lack of artillery shells for the Ukrainians, the air superiority the Russians managed to achieve, particularly towards the end of the battle, the fact the Russians managed to go through Ukrainian fortifications by using tunnels, Marty, and the know. numerical advantage that they had, are among the main reasons behind the capture of Avdivka. In the following days, the Russians pushed on to capture Stepova, Severna, and Lestokina to develop their success. I think Russia is very bad, but comparing to the 40s, Germany is very inconsiderate. You have a maniac dictator who massively controls the media, who's committing genocide inside and outside his country, uh, who goes to an unjustified war. But according to Ukrainian sources, towards the end of February, the AFU managed to stabilize the front Imperial line on the Jemenka Olivka Berdichi line. Opposition. In this period, you the Russian army also Israel. captured part of Pobeda and made minor progress around even. I think they even reach a uh, harder where uh, now, uh, what is his name? Medvedev is even dude, and that that's the craziest thing in this war. Who even threatens nukes? That's that's something you don't come back from, man. Nivska, Marienka, and that guy is genuinely the capture of Donbass is the minimum goal of the Putin regime at this point. 
and although they are still far from it, they are pushing on in various Fucking directions camps in Siberia. Speak, trying to take advantage of Ukraine's shell shortage. The Russian army has also launched an offensive on the Zaporizhia front to regain lost ground. To me, again, I, I, I know you guys have a lot of different opinions. To me, this all feels like 1937, 1948. Germany is taking Sudetenland, Germany is Anschlussing Austria, Germany is looking for Danzig, and the whole world is just like, oh, oh, oh. And I think we should learn from history and stop doing this and start doing that and understanding that we have to do something about this. During Ukraine's summer counteroffensive, the Ukrainian command claims that they have gathered <coughs> even more personnel in, in the Robotina salient than they did for the Avdivka offensive. Here's a map that Medvedev has posted how Ukraine will look in the future. No fucking way he did that. How is Medvedev a real adult politician, man? On February 17th, on? they started attacking and gained some ground <sighs> southwest of Verbova. On February 24th, crazy, they man. made a breakthrough to recapture most of Robotina. But apparently they have not been able to solidify their positions and lost the ground they had initially gained. Despite all their efforts, the Russians could not achieve a breakthrough on the North Luhansk <coughs> front in February either. They have He's made incremental gains near Terny and Jesus Yampolivka, Christ, but the Russian army is still banging its head against the Ukrainian defences east of Kubiansk, the suit which is their Putin key axis of attack on this front. This, this, also the back and forth this planet is a fucking continues. TV show, I'm telling you all Shoigu time. has claimed that the Russians have recaptured this settlement on the left bank of the Dnipro, but this is not the case. But they have regained some of the earlier lost positions. The Ukrainian naval infantry has yet to achieve a breakthrough there to create a workable bridgehead. Despite months it's of so late heavy now. Russia and already has too much fighting, defenses. clearly the Ukrainian army is in a. What Ukraine has to do, expert Tommy, is you fake here, you go there. Oh, you can probe there, probing attacks. Go here. But also, Ukraine has to really hold out for a sec, right, and wait for more support. Difficult spot at this point. This is arguably the hardest situation they have faced since the first six months of the war. The they Russians are me, not yeah. making quick gains Texas. and so that's achieving you. I know you have fast money. breakthroughs, but they have the, the momentum moment. and look more comfortable in the current war of attrition. The US National Security Advisor John Kirby has already blamed the capture of Avdivka and the current situation on the battlefield on congressional inaction. Senior US defense officials have told ABC that by late March, the shell shortage for the Ukrainian army may become critical. They also estimate that Ukraine's lack of air defense may cause complete Russian air superiority, which completely changes the nature of- Dude, in 50 years, kids will read history books and they're gonna look at us. They're gonna look at you and me and be like, why did you guys stay so passive? Why did you guys not help these people? President Zelensky agrees that 2024 will be a decisive year for the war. And he argues that it will dictate the way this war ends. So if the United States does not pass the Ukraine aid bill, the situation may become even worse for Kyiv. But Ukraine also has a manpower disadvantage. Sources have talked about the numerical advantage the Russian army had in Avdiivka as one of the main causes of Ukrainian difficulties in this battle. According to Zelensky, at this point, the Russian army has a manpower advantage of 7 to 1. Fuck, it is somewhat man. baffling that even though the lack of personnel is crazy that Ukraine is holding, man. These guys are real life spawns, man. Commonly accepted as one of the main there problems are for the Ukrainian army at this point. The decision on new mobilization has not been adopted yet. For months, the Ukrainian government and the parliament have been negotiating and discussing how a potential mobilization may look. But the final decision has not been made against the background of concerns of negative reaction of the opposition and the public. Remember, despite what the Russian propaganda tells you, Ukraine is still a democracy, and there is significant opposition to the incumbent government in the parliament. After months of speculation, Zelensky finally changed the commander-in-chief of the AFU on February 8th. General Valery Zelushny was dismissed from his post in favor of the commander of ground forces, Alexander Sirsky. The Russian propaganda has been busy stoking rumors of discord between Zelensky and Zelushny, but these two symbols of Ukrainian resistance made sure to create good optics for such a difficult moment. Sirsky is an experienced commander, but there have been reports about him not being that popular among the Ukrainian soldiers. He has been criticized for relying on old Soviet military <coughs> methods. But some of his deputies are from a new wave of Ukrainian military officers, which indicates that the Ukrainian military is not going to suddenly go back to the old Soviet playbook. Sirsky largely reiterated Zeluzhny's vision of the short-term goals of the Ukrainian army, including the importance of gaining a technological advantage over the adversary. I told you, Chad, technocratic builds. I've been saying that for years. He is also tasked New with York, conducting uh, an audit of the Ukrainian <laughs> troops to determine the number of servicemen in the rear who can be sent to battle. Even though Russia has made tangible progress on the ground in February, Ukraine continued inflicting painful losses on the Russian Navy and the Air Force. They destroyed two Russian vessels this month, 
but most importantly, another rare A-50 long-range radar detection aircraft was destroyed on February 22nd, which was hit by a modified S-200 air defense missile. Shit. These planes are crucial for Russia's air defense and attack Measure operations. Measure that pilot, man. You're going up there, man, and you're like, I'm probably going to get hit by something, from a significant huh? range. And now Russia only has six of these planes left, according to the HUI nice chief, Kirilo Budinov. Yeah, maybe Along with yeah, helping on the battlefield, the these actions, maybe that's particularly my the significant weakening of the Russian Black Sea fleet, have world. also enabled Ukraine to export its produce via maritime routes more confidently. Ukrainian it's sources report that years? in January, Ukraine that. exported 12 million tons of goods, 8.7 million of which were via the Black Sea. This equals the pre-war numbers of Ukraine. Oh, wolf among sheep. Western sanctions have and so far sheep failed are going to prevent check, Russia man. from ramping up its That's domestic what military dead, production. Russia suffers heavy losses of equipment daily, <clears> which the Kremlin remains confident of the capacity of its military-industrial complex to cover for these losses. Claims <clears> about its <throat> current production much, capacity continue surfacing in the news. Putin recently stated that Russia has expanded its military production. And currently, 6,000 enterprises and 3.5 oh. million workers are working cool in the Russian military John. industrial Thank you, Star complex. Thank you, dude. Thank According you, to the Jacob. Ukrainian Thank military guys. expert Konstantin Mashevets, at this point, Russia is capable of producing 250 <coughs> to 300 new which is always very per bad. year. Along with that, Russia can produce an additional 250 to 300 tanks annually by using parts of damaged tanks. The yeah, Latvian Defense Ministry well, the West is not official Yanis Garrisons gives a different ah, figure. Man. According to him, Russia has the capacity to produce and repair 100 to like 150 tanks per month. I feel like in the next election, I just look which German party which wants to support Ukraine the most and they get my vote. claim of the Russian capacity to produce 1,500 main battle tanks per year, an average production of 125 tanks monthly. Another Ukrainian military expert... All my muscles in my face are shortened, and I need to always do this. I'm like standing in front of a traffic light and people look into me, and I'm always doing this in the car. Because I need to stretch the muscles. I'm old, man, you know. Alexander Kovalenko argues yeah. that the main FDP tank producer in Russia, the Aral no, 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 for that. produces only 60 to 70 T-90 tanks per year, I think while so. the remaining tanks sent to the front are somewhat modernized T-54-55 and T-62 tanks. M moving? Finally, Mashevets has also stated that the official statistics from Russia demonstrate that after hitting a peak in September 2023, production has consistently declined Every time I look at the shit, I want to play Millennium Gold, man. Labor and decreased supply from Chinese well, companies. After, for, the problem it is, is after is, uh, a Russian to determine puppet, right? the real number of tanks and armored vehicles only that Russia armors, can produce gonna, at this moment. They're give to but so far, oligarchs. we have not seen any evidence of tank shortages in the bro? Russian good army, job, job. despite visually documented extremely heavy losses. The Kremlin does not Mewing only... is a Zoomer thing that says you can get a chat draw by doing it. ...work on expanding its military potential, but it okay. is also unsurprisingly plotting ways to destabilize Ukraine. On February 17th, the Washington Post published an article based on documents obtained from the Kremlin, which described the work of Russian trolls to promote the Russian narratives regarding the war in Ukraine on social media. These narratives include posts about the perceived conflict between Zelensky and Solushny, the latter's intent- This you? This better be a good link over there. What the fuck? Is there anything else? Well, okay, that was bad. That's a ban. That's a ban. It was not good enough. Ten minute ban. It's the rules. Mention to replace the incumbent president, <clears throat> amplifying claims of corruption in the Ukrainian elite. In general, everything that can sow discord in Ukrainian society and demoralize it. The non-stop propaganda about Ukrainian problems has undoubtedly given talking points to pro-Russian forces in Western countries as well, aimed at reducing and even downright halting the military support to Kyiv. This strategy is working, at least to some extent, in the West. In America, Trumpist politicians, journalists and public figures often parrot Russian narratives to find different ways of preventing the adoption of the Ukrainian aid bill in Congress. How can you sleep at night, man? In mm -hmm. the absence of American aid, the European <clears throat> country... There's a company in my city, it's like an old man who like, um, he is a tile layer. He makes your bathroom, right? And his symbol is a big Z with a sword in the middle, because his name is like Zamiak, I don't know. Harald Zamiak, and lately his uh, his logo is not looking so well. He he drives this black van and a big Z on it, man. <laughs> so have been trying to step up. On He's February been for 30 years, 1st, the European Council adopted a Ukraine support package of 50 billion euros, which will aid the Ukrainian economy nice. until 2027. The EU official Josef Borrell once again reiterated the At organization's least intent for this to shit, deliver man. the earlier promised 1 million artillery shells by the end of 2024. 1 million, come on. 
Needless to say, Ukraine needs as many shells as possible as soon as possible to decrease the current overwhelming advantage that the Russian army enjoys. On February 17th, Czech President Pavel stated that they had found half a million 150 They found that in what? Somebody's basement? Meter ...and 300,000 122mm artillery shells in unspecified countries, which can be sent to Ukraine to you. within weeks you, in TV. case How of you funding. Doing, Thank you, dude. Later, FT reported that the EU member states are working to fulfill this idea, which requires... I wish I had money. I would like million. to invest. It's probably so clever to invest in arm, arm, arms right now. I had a very... I showed it on stream. I had a very, very successful portfolio. I was very, very up, but I had to sell it all or I couldn't pay my taxes. <laughs> and when I sold all my stock, it was taxed 25% by the German government too. On February 3rd, it was reported that Estonia nice. delivered Javelin anti-tank guns, ammunition and other equipment worth 80 million euros to Kyiv. But investing is On fun, February man. 5th, the Dutch Defense Minister Kaiser Olongren really stated that the Netherlands will send six additional F-16 fighters get to Ukraine, bringing yeah, the total to number to 24. Denmark, Norway and Belgium have also pledged an unspecified number of F-16s to Ukraine, proposal. although the Norwegian that. media but has speculated that this year. Norway very, very, is going very, to send very 5 to 10 jets. On the same day, the German Reich right? announced that they are going to send tens of thousands of 155mm artillery shells, dozens of Marda IFVs, 25 Leopard A1A5 tanks, and Skynet air defense right? That's systems where Normie to is Ukraine. On. The South Korean government also stated Tommy, that it's man. going to sign a contract on 155 <laughs> millimeter shell production. Can you to another country? I can't. I'm too connected here, man. With the Punsang military manufacturer. But my biggest tip, you know, one day I'm I'm writing a book on how to be a better streamer. This book has a lot of uh, tips how to be a streamer, and the uh, the first chapter is going to be move to a different country. Some have suggested that they're going to do it for the purpose of later supplying Ukraine through indirect transfer. On February 14th. During the latest Ramstein meeting, Ukraine's allies further pledges of support. The very first time, NATO chief September. Stoltenberg good joke, stated that, that the allies good. are planning to send one million drones that was a sick to Ukraine, joke. along with creating a mine clearance coalition. One for the million transfer drones. Of relevant Fuck equipment. yeah, man! Finally, they're Britain waking up. Britain and Latvia good. are going to lead the effort to transfer these drones. German and French Chapter defense ministers <laughs> signed an agreement to create the Air and Missile Coalition. Germany also pledged to send 77 Mancat One A1 trucks, trucks, small drone bombs medical wow. equipment, and an unspecified number of MRAP armored vehicles worth 100 million euros. Pardon? Australia sent an aid package worth 50 million dollars. On the following I'm day, Hitler Zelensky like visited paintings? Germany to meet the German Chancellor Schultz to sign a security Fucking deal Schultz. with Berlin. Needs to get the fuck out of On that day, man. Schultz announced a, a new military aid man. package worth 1.13 billion euros which includes 18 Panzerhubitzer howitzers, Wait, 18 RCH-155 right? self-propelled artillery guns. Two. You know what I always am super surprised with Germany? We, we actually own this stuff? Germany has like 18 Panzerhubitzer 2. We have that? My unit, the German tank division, we had two tanks. We had four tanks, but two didn't work. And all of a sudden, we have all Skynex of this shit? Air Defense Systems, 100 Iris T Air Defense <laughs> Missiles. Spain still has the Civil War deep <laughs> And 120,000, 122 Here's my tax dollars, man. Look at that this shit. aid will be sent until 2027, with shells arriving in 2024. 2027. It is not clear whether the aforementioned aid is just the Thank repetition of the previously... That is so German. 2027. That is the most German shit. Germans are always like, yeah, we're gonna fix global warming in like 50 years, okay? We're doing it. Just give us time. What? There's an issue? In 10 years, we're gonna fix it. That's Mount's aid Germany, by Germany man. or something new. <clears throat> Berlin is also going to send military aid worth 7.1 billion euros in total nice. in 2024. Good. On the same day, Zelensky also visited Paris and signed a similar security agreement with France. President Macron promised military aid Macron. worth 3 billion euros in 2024. On February 20th, Sweden I announced Macron's a military aid package to worth stuff about Macron and Macron million seems like a great dollars, leader right now. which includes if air defense, French, ammunition, grenade right launchers, armored vehicles, How dare you and so that, on. You? No, Macron Denmark has also right pledged opinion. further Fuck military you. aid worth 1.8 billion euros to be sent to Ukraine this year, along with signing a security agreement with Ukraine on February 22nd. It includes 15,155 mm shells produced together with Czechia, Air defense and demining equipment, radar and so on. New Zealand announced a new aid package. But then again, you could argue Macron is losing in the polls. That's why he's doing a big U-turn. That's how politicians are. They just do what people want. Fifteen point four million dollars. While Britain. What, what I miss in European politics, especially in German politics, is like a guy that says it as it is. Like someone that sits down and says, "Listen, here's some." Ugly truths, German public, but we can fucking fix it together. And pledge that's, that 200 happen, brimstone anti tank missiles, along that's with a further over. 245 million like that, pounds to deliver artillery shells to Ukraine. 
On February 26, Germany announced... And that's why I like the Green Party, because the only person in German politics that has the balls to sit down and talk to people and say to this is Robert Habeck, the leader of the Green Party, which is why I love the German Green Party and vote for them. <sighs> Another military aid yes, package, Green Party, let's go! 14,155 millimeter best, artillery bro. shells, love that 10 vector drones, My four politician. Vicent 1 demining vehicles, and so on. A day later, the Netherlands pledged a further 100 million euros in aid. It is a decent amount of aid, which has had a significant focus on shells. But every time you talk about this, I'm kind of bored. I don't care the about the United numbers, States what everybody's sending. Yeah. In his interview, yes, let's Zelensky shut down the nuclear power plants and buy coal. Uh, that was the Black Western Party, under Angela Merkel, not the Green Party. Do your research. Ukraine has received the Party only a third of the promised shells from the EU, that, you only adding that due to the war, the price of shells has increased significantly. Can you guys please subscribe? Thank you. They say will be a decisive moment, probably meaning that Trump's election may stop any hope for aid from America. American defense officials have already confirmed that the United States has increased shell production and I'm are planning to produce 60,155 mm shells per month Make by money the end of the year. Humans One of the most controversial news items relating to foreign aid to Ukraine was the statement of the French President Macron saying, we will do everything that we must do I so love that, that Russia statement, does not man. Finally someone showed not even ruling goals. out sending troops to Join Ukraine. the hell divers. Later, the NATO allies downplayed this statement, while Putin... Jeez. With his usual nuclear saber rattling. Fuck the you. French Prime Minister Attal later Piece clarified that France is not planning to send its soldiers to fight in the war, but they can be deployed to protect border areas and participate in military exercises or ground air defense. The German Chancellor Schultz has already revealed that the French and the British are helping the Ukrainian army with target control while using Storm Shadow or Scal PG. But there kind of is soldiers on the front, right? As the usual, there is less information on foreign military assistance to Russia, both because Russia has fewer allies and What's since Albania the Kremlin doing is very someone, secretive right? about these deals. Russia is primarily relying on its own domestic production, but continues to be supported by a few of its allies. The Prana network hackers have claimed to access documents of the Iran Revolutionary Guard Corps, which indicates that Russia pays 193,000 US dollars for every Shahed 136 drone and 1.4 million Russian taxpayer money used US perfectly well dollars for Shahed 238. This price is higher than initially estimated, but Russia is mitigating Iran this issue mad money by here, producing huh? their own version of Shahed drones now. According to Reuters, Iran has also apparently sold- Ukraine needs fucking submarines right here, man. Like free submarines, like a video game. You know that game we played, Sea Wolf? You're just a Ukrainian submarine right here. And you just sh get Russia these almost shipments 400 surface-to-surface -surface missiles with ranges between 300 and 700 kilometers. Iranian officials speaking anonymously to Reuters have confirmed this report. While Budinov has stated that they have not oh, seen they any Iranian missiles in the just fucking carried them at night when no one was watching. Earlier, it was reported that North today? Korea you, has sent some man, 1 million okay. artillery shells to Russia. But the Bloomberg <clears throat> report oh, that, that they have act- Dude, do you think that could be possible? Like you air- Dude, that is actually not that dumb. Imagine you airdrop a submarine into a closed water. That is genius. A paradrop submarine is so genius. How do we refuel? If it's nuclear driven, you don't have to refuel. Actually sent them 6,700 containers. We saw the documentary. Nuclear submarines can be out there for years. Millimeter shells. This you just is a huge the fuel. number. And if true, it may be one of the causes of the huge disparity in shell usage at this point in the war. I, I, it's, it's insane Finally, how North Korea is making, 9th, fixing Ukrainian this war, soldiers North Korea, reported biggest about player the use of Starlink satellite North devices by Russian the West. forces, what a fucking while the Ukrainian media claimed that they had purchased them via Dubai. Elon Musk has already refuted the claim that SpaceX has sold them directly to Russia. One of the main talking points related to the war in Ukraine was Putin's interview with Tucker Carlson. We're not going to go over everything that Putin said, since it was mostly the repetition of his yeah, previous statements of bullshit, about man. Ukraine. The important point is that, particularly, the passage on his version of Ukrainian history demonstrates that Putin's obsession goes way beyond NATO expansion. Yeah, that or interview was actually very wrong for Putin, and it just showed he's fucking insane, man. That guy is genuinely an insane dictator, man. Or a pro-Western government in Kiev. Completely lost It is in an outright head. rejection of Ukrainian Liberal identity Tommy, fuck you. and state. Please, uh, Nathaniel, People please uh, elaborate in detail. What's, why fuck me? What, where am I wrong? Acting I'm like Putin man. is open to don't fair ban negotiations him, with fuck Ukraine, you. If you rather ban him, than kick, seeking kick, surrender and submission, Let him talk. must bear that in mind. Medvedev also once threatened Kyiv, Berlin, London, so and Washington with a nuclear strike if Ukraine restored its territorial integrity. Also, as a Medvedev is the most fun. This guy's a terrorist. The former man. president of Russia argued that Kyiv must be captured by Russia, and all Ukrainian citizens <laughs> who harm Russia must be exposed, punished, sent to Siberia for re-education. That guy's General in Hitler. Camps. What? You attack Putin, but he say he's country history. I don't care. He says.
Battlefield only strengthens guys. their determination. The recent Reuters report about Putin's proposal to the United States to reach oh, a ceasefire in Ukraine is based on three Russian sources. According to this claim, the United States refused this offer as they- Wait, Putin tried for a ceasefire? If that's real, which I don't, I don't have no idea, that would be insane. They did not want wow. to get involved in talks without <clears throat> Ukraine's participation. But both an unnamed US official privately and then the Kremlin spokesperson yeah, Peskov publicly denied this report. You'll never that's real though, it's probably going Russia's through channels that the public and not revisionist to know ambitions about. do not end with Ukraine. Moldova has long been the focus of Kremlin-orchestrated smear campaigns. Remember another Russia-backed breakaway region, Transnistria is in Moldova. There are Russian troops in this entity and on February 28th, the separatist authorities of Transnistria officially asked Russia for help to protect Transnistria under the circumstances of stronger pressure from Moldova. Usually Russia uses the pretext of helping fellow Russians or allies persecuted in another country. This is directly from the Kremlin's playbook of aggression. Attacking Moldova while not having direct land access to MS this country is, is improbable. If, if, if the trolls could at least try to make... Man, you know what the problem with trolls is? I'm gonna say it. When I was a kid, when I was 14 and a troll like you, at least I fucking tried. I made good trolls. I really triggered people. I was in the forums. I had some facts and shit, man. You guys are so weak nowadays. I'm very disappointed in trolling nowadays. Come on, this, this man. This development is quite worrying. You guys, you young kids are even too bad to fucking troll, man. In general, Despite earlier agreements weak, by weak, the government, shit. Polish farmers and pro-Russian actors... If I, dude, I'm a competitive guy. If I was a pro-Russian Z guy, I will troll the living shit out of people. I will be so next level. in Poland have but not you stopped kids are so the weak, Polish -Ukrainian man. Border. Mia. Polish farmers have been protesting the import of cheaper Ukrainian grain, oh. and many in Ukraine recognize this as a legitimate grievance. But since then, the governments agreed that Poland would serve as a transit for the transportation of the Ukrainian grain to other countries, and despite the assurances of the Polish <coughs> authorities, thank you, the issue has not name. been resolved. I really need it, man. Thank you, dude. The problem escalated further when protesters spilled the Ukrainian grain on the ground, mm. after which Ukraine demanded punishment for the perpetrators oh, of the shit. action. The new president of Poland, Donald Tusk, His name is Tusk, Donald Tusk. Has announced that He's a good guy, though, I heard. His name is like Donald Trump in Polish. Poland is considering closing its border with Ukraine. While Zelensky stated that Ukraine is determined to protect its business, grain exports are crucial for Ukraine, as our cordial relations Ukraine with its closest Albania, ally, that's Poland. Something I can it is understand. the most inopportune moment for a crisis like this, and the sides look further apart on the issue than Tusk they were like just Trump a few and weeks Musk? before. Oh, By winning the that's, Battle of Avdiivka, Russia gained its biggest theory. victory on the battlefield since the capture of Bakhmut. The ammunition shortage due to persisting problems with supply from its allies is very damaging for Ukraine at this point. Ukraine is looking to weather the storm and stabilize its defenses the before the, the arrival of crucial military aid. <laughs> and will be on the defensive, at least in the short term. <laughs> Meanwhile, Russia intends to push on and develop its success in Donbass. After the first time since the start of the war, Zelensky talked about Ukrainian losses. He claimed that 31,000 Ukrainian- F in the fucking chat. War. And I want to once again be very proud that this community has gathered $6,000 in the beginning for uh, the Ukrainian army, man. Very, actually it was for Ukrainian refugees, Ukrainian refugees, man. I'm very proud of that. But UALosses.org, a platform calculating Ukrainian losses based on publicly available information, more. already has evidence of more than 42,000 Ukrainian KIA. According to the New York Times, the most recent yes, they Pentagon did. estimate yes, they of did. Russian losses is 60,000 dead. The numbers of claimed losses continue to fluctuate wildly. Yeah, now let's look at the visually super... confirmed equipment losses suffered Why by don't both sides. I, I want to do that soon. Blog. I think soon. As of March I'm even 1st, thinking of doing Russia... a thing soon, but I have to set it up. Uh, I want to do a thing where every single donation goes to Ukraine. Like every donation ever is Ukrainian. I don't ever take donations anymore. 764 tanks, 5,860 hmm. vehicles, 274 command posts yeah, and great communication game is probably stations. Better, huh? 1,145 artillery systems and vehicles, 353 multi- Two weeks ago, there was a big court case against a streamer in North Germany, man, and the guy lost the case, which now leads that every donation has a 19% income tax. And we all the German streamers have to repay that for the beginning of their career. <laughs> 105 aircraft, nice fucking 135 break, bro. helicopters, nah, I don't care about the losses, 300... man. What are you still doing here, mate? Jeez! Well, if you want to see more, click these videos. Have fun. Looking good, boy.